Yo, what's good everybody? This is Suheel back with Feel Good Threads. And today I got two huge boxes in the mail. I can't wait to unbox these. Shout out to both James and Gail from Alpha 6 Corporation. Thank you guys so much. To be honest with you guys, I have no idea what's in these boxes. So let's unbox them together. Let's go. All right, y'all, I told you these were huge boxes, so um, I've got a, <laughs> a large box and I've got a really large box. Let's start with the smaller box. I'm gonna move this big box to the side and let's uh, jump into the first one and, oh man, that's gotta be like 50 pounds. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> no wonder this was so big. Got some large items up in here. I'm gonna just cut the top here. That way we can unpackage it. All right, so let's see. First guy, leather textile matte top coat. That's what I got there. Water-based primer base coat. Leather and textile cleaner. These are like all like brand new products to me. So as I read them off, I'm just kind of in my head thinking, what does this do? What does this do? What can I use this for? Leather textile gloss top coat. Let's see here, stripper and deglazer. I definitely know what that's for. Water-based reducer. I got one more. Flexible additive, that already sounds like I'm gonna definitely use that. So that's all from Alpha 6 Corporation. This is uh, just the beginning. One, two, three. Oh, wow. This is a crazy amount of paint. This is why everything was so heavy. Wow, okay, so let's jump into uh, the colors that I got here. Jeez, this is... Oh man, I might have to put this in a fast forward because this is a bunch of colors, guys. So first one, Alpha Air water-based airbrush paint. They sent me this before, I haven't used it yet, so I'm really excited because the Alpha Air line, the airbrush paint line, this is supposed to go straight into the airbrush. You can shoot it right away. You don't have to mix it with anything. So all of the Alpha Air products that I pull out of this bag right here, they're all airbrush ready and uh, you can just drop them in the airbrush ready to go. Alpha Green. So let's just keep going down this line, I guess. Um, yeah, these are Alpha Air Peacock. I've got Hot Pink. This is Army Green, that's dope. Oh, that's interesting, look at this. It's like an olive here on the top. But look on the bottom, it's more like a yellowish green. So definitely got to make sure you mix these guys up when you when you jump into actually painting with them. It's got a mint. All right, I'm gonna just run through all of these. Let's see if they're all out. I think these might all be Alpha Air, it looks like it. Yeah, Alpha Air, Golden Rod. Wow, this is, dude, this is a bunch of colors, man. Burnt Caramel, Chocolate, Vermilion. It's like a, Orangish red almost, like a fire orange. Dark pink. Oh, I love that I'm getting different colors in here. Alpha red. Caramel. This is gonna be great. Caramel will be great for gum bottom stuff. This one is brick red. Oh, that's kind of dope, look at this. This is kind of purplish on the top, but on the bottom you can see it is more of a brick color. So again, make sure you mix these guys. So I've got coral. Look at coral. Coral is like dead on exactly what you would see a coral be in the ocean. But then here on the top, it's a little bit more on the orange side. So very interested to see like once I actually use them, what are they gonna look like when they come out of the airbrush? Again, this is a dark blue, which is pretty dark here, but on the bottom, it's pretty light. It's more like a UNC powder blue. So, uh, you know, this is gonna be all different for me. I gotta, man, we're gonna probably have to shoot a video just to show you guys what the colors look like. That's how many, uh, different colors I got here. Um, let's see, dark purple, alpha orange, light orange, lemon sherbet. This is getting me hungry. Dark orange, alpha yellow. Check out that yellow right there. Blackberry sherbet. 
beautiful color. It's like a lilac, burnt orange. So this is a mixture of like an orange and a brown. I love turquoise. And this is a turquoise right there. Alpha purple, slime green, Ghostbusters theme, medium brown. I'm glad they have different versions of browns. This is a fuchsia. This one is a dark green. It's interesting because it's like an emerald green on the bottom, but it's turquoise on the top. Raspberry sherbet is a uh, oxide. So it's like a rust color. Dark yellow. You definitely see that's a darker yellow there on the bottom. Light blue. This is a good saturated version of a light blue. Ultramarine. It's got a very aqua feel to it. Ivory. This one, I've used the Alpha Flex version of it. And ivory, if you're into like doing vintage, you know, kind of a worn look, distressed look, ivory is a great pickup. Definitely alpha white and jet black actually happens to be in my hand. These two are keys uh, if you guys are starting to customize. So without a doubt, if you were to start, at least pick up these three, ivory, black, and white, because these are kind of your main colors. You can make grays out of them as well. But in case you wanna really expand, look, here's dark gray, here's light gray, two different versions of grays. And I, I love that because then you don't have to sit there and mix a gray. And then if you don't have enough of that paint, you gotta mix that same color again and match it. And sometimes that can be difficult. Instead, you can just have it in the bottle. Alpha gray. By the way, these are, I think, five ounces. Yep, they're five ounces each. So you got a lot of paint when they come uh, to you guys. So uh, don't worry about, you know, am I gonna run out? Five ounces is plenty. This is an orange sherbet. So just a recurring theme, they've got a lot of different sherbets. I've got an orange. I've got this uh, blackberry. There's another one here as well. Uh, most of the sherbets, it seems like they have more of a, a lighter colorway to them. And I've got about three more, four more, five more in here. So let's take a look. The last five, I've got a baby blue. This one has a softness to it. It's almost like a white with a blue tint to it. Monster green. If you're doing a Space Jam theme, monster green uh, is gonna be key. This one is interesting. It says dark olive. Look at dark olive, but on the top, it's like a, again, like a turquoise or an emerald. So you're gonna have different uh, occurrences on here unless you mix it. So violet, violet was very close to this other color that I saw earlier. Where was it? Fazbury Sherbert, yeah, pretty close. Different shades, different versions. And then lastly, we have pink. And the pink is, you know, a softer side pink. And that is a lot, a lot, <laughs> a lot of paints. So let me just, uh, just to recap, let me see how many paints I got. I don't, I don't even know how many paints I got here. Uh, I'm assuming that this is the Alpha Air um, complete pack. I can only assume that because this is a bunch of colorways here. And as I put everything together, now I could just kind of see if I still have my math skills here. I got four rows and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So I got 11 times four, that's 44, 45, 46, 47, 48 paints in this Alpha Air pack. All right, so thank you guys again so much. I'm still in amazement. I'm just in awe right now of how many colors I've got. The crazy part is I've got a bigger box to still unbox. So I've got to move these guys over. Let me shift these over so we have enough room to unbox the bigger box. And I mean, I can't even imagine what's gonna be in this one. Oh, Sheesh, okay. Box number two, it's definitely heavy. Let's see what's in it. All right. Oh, it looks like a banner. Oh yeah, it is a banner. 
Oh, snap. <laughs> this looks like it's a table banner, I believe. Oh yeah, right? I could already read through it. Made in Detroit, Alpha 6 Corporation Paint Tools, and then their website as well. Wow, this is crazy. I gotta take a look at what it looks like. Oh, beautiful coloring on it. Oh man, I don't even know how I'm gonna pull this out. More stickers. <laughs> All right, I'm definitely laced out in stickers. You gotta find a, it's kind of deep. Okay, I'm gonna just pull this all out at once. This part is, feels light. Oh, snap. Oh, sick. Oh, wow. I need this. This is beautiful. <laughs> Nice, dude. This is perfect. I'm always looking for a way to kind of store my paints and I never had the most efficient way. So this this is great because now I can see and display all the paints here. I could put them by shade, which is even better. And it just looks nice and clean. So this, thank you guys, this is awesome. So that's the first layer down. And I got a little bit more in here. Oh man, it's another paint bundle. Okay, here we go. One, two, and three. Oh snap, oh snap. Done, door rotator cuff, damn. That was huge. All right, let's see what's up in here now. Let's do the same thing as I did on that first one. So the first one was Alpha Air. I wonder if this is also Alpha Air. That's no, gonna be Alpha Air too. Oh, I see some neons in here though. Sick. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> Electro green, y'all. Look at the pop. Electro orange. So I think this is their like a highlighter pack that they have. Electro magenta. Beautiful color. Electro yellow. Highlighter yellow. Damn, dude, this is all from, this is all, all Alpha Flex here. And then this one here is, the cap fell off of it. <laughs> I'm not sure which one this is, but it's a nice color. So I'll find that cap in here, I'm sure. Oh, here it is. Electro Red, sick. So the good thing about this is they're all sealed on the inside here, so even with that cap broken off, we're good. All right, now I gotta jump into the actual other colors. Oh my God. I gotta move stuff to the side here. By the way, these alpha acrylic paint markers, I've got a bunch of them still in the box. So we'll go over that next. Let me just jump into these colors real quick. This is, okay, this is alpha flex. Alpha Flex is different from Alpha Air because if you don't have an airbrush but you wanna learn how to paint your shoes, Alpha Flex you can use with brushes. I think this might be the whole Alpha Flex monster pack, I believe is what they call it. Let's go over the colors real quick. Again, five ounce paints, so they last a long time. Uh, the first one here is dark yellow. I think some of these might be repeated from the Alpha Air, by the way. I wouldn't be surprised. Jet Black, Orange Sherbert, Orange sherbet again, all of the kind of ice cream colors sound like they're very soft in color and soft in nature. Raspberry sherbet. Dark gray. Light orange. Another gray, this is alpha gray. Electro blue, I think this is part of this highlighter pack that I started with in the beginning. Peacock. Beautiful color, I love turquoise and variations of blues and greens. So for me, that and actual turquoise, those are great colors. Pink, chocolate, oh, it's kind of like a darker brown there. Dark orange, metallic silver. So metallic silver, this is the first metallic I've seen today. And that's really interesting. Light gray, 
By the way, I have used Alpha Flex. So this, this I've used these hand painting and if you haven't seen me do that, you can catch us on YouTube. Uh, I do a lot of lives and I've been demonstrating this product, Burnt Orange. So if you wanna catch us, it's uh, youtube.com slash feelgoodthreads and uh, dark pink. Oh man, there's so many more in here. This is crazy. Okay, here's another metallic, metallic bronze. Check that one out. So two different metallics now that I've seen. Dark olive. Ivory. It's one of my favorite colors here. Hot pink. Alpha orange. Alpha green. All of the alphas, by the way, if you hear alpha green, alpha blue, alpha purple, they're a very standard, like right in the middle kind of a color, meaning that they're not too light or not too dark, okay? So if you see a green, it'll be like right in the middle when it comes to saturation. Okay, here's another metallic, metallic crimson. So if you compare that one to the metallic bronze, you could see one is slightly more red. This is metallic bronze, this is metallic crimson. So two metallics there. Here's another metallic here. Metallic gold. You gotta have a metallic gold, right? Antique gold. I like that. That's that's a beautiful color. So compared to the, just this is standard metallic gold, you can see that this one has more of an aged or a distressed kind of a feel. It's darker in nature as well. So really cool second version of gold there. And now look at this, we've got golden rod, which is also a gold, but it's not a metallic. So if you wanted, for example, to make a, uh, you're doing like a DuckTales theme and you want gold coins, then this is the color that you look for. Another one of my favorites right here is mint. If you ever wanna do like a Tiffany colorway or something of that nature, mint is a beautiful color to use. I've got six versions of blues here in my hand, let's see if I, there's another one here, electro blue, and if you wanted to count turquoise as a blue as well, that's a lot of blues to choose from. So let's take a quick look at the blues. Again, alpha blue, like the kind of medium colored blue. There's a light blue and a baby blue. I believe they had that in the alpha airline as well. There's a dark purple, so this is actually not a blue. They're calling that dark purple. Even though it really, really, it's sort of like borderline purple and blue, I would say. And then they've got ultramarine, which they had in the Alpha Air. And lastly, they have dark blue as well. So dark blue, I think it'd have to be mixed a little bit, but it's, it's probably a little bit darker than what you see here on camera. All right, so I've got most of these knocked out. Let's see if I could pull out some greens. I've got greens and greens and more greens. I think that's... So I've got four more right here. One of them seems to have lost the sticker on it. Uh, it looks like it might be a slime green. And then here's a monster green. So just in comparison, slime, I believe it's slime, and monster green. And we've got an army green, which I love that. I've never had an army green before, so this is great to have. And then we've got dark green. So that's another four greens there. That's not even counting. Again, we had alpha green, electro green. Um, what else? Um, we could have even mint be considered a green. So there's a lot of greens. Uh, and let's go into just more purples and reds. I've got five more in here, five different colors. So I finally got a chance to actually organize all these paints we just unboxed. I got another 59 paints here. Again, this is a combination of different paints that they have. They have an electro pack, so you'll see like highlighter colors. They have a primary pack as well, so you'll see that as a separate pack. This, I believe, is a monster pack, but again, this is 59 paints. I've got a bunch of different top coats. I got a bunch of Alpha Air here behind me, and then I'm not done yet. I still have got markers and other like goodies over here to unbox. So let's jump into that next. I won't go over all of them, but I'm really amped to try to use these because now you don't have to worry about loading any paint in, inside of the markers and all the mess and stuff. These are all individually wrapped. So whatever colors you want, I've got a pink. You can see all these different colors. 
And what's great about that is if you're doing detail work and you wanna fill things in and you know feel like you're coloring on a coloring book, these are exactly what those will feel like if you're working on shoes or if you're working on products uh, where you want to have a little bit more control. All right, so um, like I said, I've got a bunch of different colors here. <laughs> I'm not gonna go all over all of them, but you guys can see they've got a large selection of them. I've got also some sole tape, so I'm really interested in using this because I've seen James who actually was the person who invented this use the sole tape and it contours around soles very easily and it sticks very tight so it locks in so when you're painting you don't have to worry about bleeding underneath the tape so again sole tape I've got a green and a white excited to use these uh, lastly I don't know what this is uh, it's like a little box it might just be for packaging stuff it might be some Small goodies, who knows? Oh, oh, no, that's not it at all. These are scuffing pads. Check that out. So it's a, like a little block. So if you need to sand or scuff something before you paint it, this has like that rough kind of a sandpaper feel. A lot of times you'll need to do that, for example, on uh, Wings logos on Jordan 4s other pl plastic pieces and it's nice because it has a little wedge so if you need to get into those little tight little detail spots these will work great really comfortable and they're very they're very tough though so when you're trying to squish them they don't squish which is a great thing because when you're applying pressure to the shoe you want it to really have a lot of that grit you know grinding against the shoe so cool thank you guys again for that and i think I think we're wrapped up on this unboxing, guys. I am incredibly floored at all these different products that I got today. James and Gail, thank you guys so much from Alpha 6 Corporation. If you guys are interested in using or trying out any of these paints, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link below, as well as my discount code, which is simply the word feel good, all together, no spaces. Also, if you guys are interested in joining us on our Patreon channel, our last Patreon winner won a nine pack of Alpha 6 paints. Uh, you can join us at patreon.com slash feelgoodthreads. We not only teach you guys how to paint your kicks, but how to construct kicks as well. Please like this video. Please comment below. If you have any questions, hit me up with the questions below. Um, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, and next time y'all see me, it'll be with Alpha 6 Paint. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. Fresh squeeze, fresh squeeze lemons. Scrolling down my feed, do I need weapons? Uh, need chains like a lemonade stand. Tears in they eyes and they head in they hand. Ice spray, complicated blood in they hand. Ice cold, concentrated in they make hand. Yeah, we need chains like the merch table popping. Let up in the pipes in the dirt, stain the water. Tax dollars, stop us money first, pay the coppers. Lions in the jungle like a birthday in August. Walk up in the clinic in the earth strain proper. Corporations profit, but the kids still locked up. Orchestrate the problems and they sell us pill popping. Working all your problems, sell your soul like stockings. Hard to feel good when the time under depressing. So I hide in a session with the fire in my chest and get it live. Never question, catch a vibe and a blessing. No, I ain't cold, but a diamond and pressure. Studying the game, student debt on your shoulders. Money in your name, better check, cancel culture Steady in my aim, play the game with the focus Let these haters know that the lame's never broken Fresh squeeze, fresh squeeze lemons Scrolling down my feet, do I need weapons? Fresh squeeze, fresh squeeze lemons Scrolling